the world that you imagine you have your like five year whatever like where could I be in five years and you try to live toward it but sometimes the world just refuses <laughs> it's, it, that doesn't happen you're like I could do this and then this would happen I've had I went to the node in October of last year that's really the beginning of the the third time or the beginning really the beginning of revolution number seven because that's the, the seventh major iteration was then, and I went to the node, and I had prepared slides, and I was going to go in and project the slides and record something, and it was going to spread on the internet. It was going to make sense, and people were going to, because I think that if you just, there is, there's no consensus at this point as to a really significant next step. But once you have the consensus on the next step, then you can plan. How do we get to... And you can implement it. Yeah, exactly. Because it's, it's so much of it is just software. It's just this. If we had this piece of software, I could do this with it, and then it would do this, and then this would happen. And it's just right. So it's really just writing software, and then people using the software. But and so I was going to go and record it at the node. But and so I had a camera and I was recording, and this guy told me that he didn't want me to record, and. It didn't fit with my vision of how this was supposed to go down. Like it was, I was supposed to just make sense. I felt, I felt coherent. My internal perception of myself was that I was coherent. Someone there saw you doing it and said stop. No, not during my actual presentation, but I was. No, there was. So I was recording. A, I was actually this guy was giving a tour, and I was recording the tour, and. Someone there said, I don't want you to record, I don't want you to record. And I was, I was, there was confrontation between me and this other person. Where there should have been, it was my fault. It was a, because I had this picture of, that this set of recordings, because this is the idea, like this recording, like whatever, like whatever the recordings are, if, if we do, again, if, as particularly, if we make it to an end of war, then, and, and, and I am part of the group of people that is whatever that does that. If we publish the economy, and that, le I, again, it's all part of a grand vision. But if that happens, then every single recording is part of that historical process. And so it's this whole important thing. And there is a grandiosity to it and an arrogance, a pride. Yeah, there's always a healthy bit to that here. It's a balance. And you don't go into things knowing necessarily what a healthy balance looks like. And it's, you're talking about the difference in, you know, entering post-25 and entering, like, 13. Like, half, like, every, yeah, like, if you go halfway back, it was just, it, that, that half of the process was significantly different from the previous half of the process, and now the next half of the process right. will be is because you are learning and you are changing and you are adapting and you're evolving and but yeah it's just we it should be because and again compounding knowledge and we compound at an increasing rate yes, and again Ideally. to go to so again so God so life is holy. I like that. And that's the thing, is that, but the, that languishing, that's a word that I overuse. That I just, yeah. uh, anyway, that languishing is, that's new. I've never, I, I would, God is life has been what I've been talking about. God or goddess or whatever. But each, so that's the thing is, so I mean, the cells are, so, yeah, I mean, you are a combination of cells right mm -hmm. and yeah everything is cell right is that the valid biological fact is there everything is atoms well I mean, everything's definitely atoms but atoms aren't alive so so far as the next I was, I'm trying to think of it as in terms of just orders of magnitude right like this is cells and but then at the level of cells there's still mitochondria and whatever that is some other level of order 
and then I don't know. I uh, it, it at some point has the transition to, to something inanimate. I guess it definitely atoms. I, I assume what fascinates me is the concept that orders exist in electrical fields at sort of another level of magnitude up from us. Okay, here's the, I'll, I'll tell you the concept, and it's again out there, but that orders exist, so patterns, persistent patterns, whatever it is that is life, yeah. exists in electrical fields at that rate of speed, so at a, another, like, and I guess that's the speed of light, maybe, I don't know, but, and that uh, people communicate, people, it is possible to communicate with those orders while, a, what, in dream. And this goes back to Carlos Castaneda, who has this whole description of meeting the sorcerer and going through a whole bunch of different activities. But part of that was a change in how he dreamed. And like the guy told him, it was specifically, he started with lucid dreaming. Are you familiar with? Huh? Okay, so he started with lucid dreaming and developed to this progression to other realms. And I don't know. I don't know. Like that that's very much a could be. Dreaming could also be the whole just because it makes sense that your brain operates both chemically, which is at one speed, and electrically, which is at another speed. And so far as the hemispheres, they can communicate electrically very efficiently and quickly. But so far as chemically, there's only, like, it's only through the electrical fields that the, the chemicals, there's no, is there, there's at least very few molecules pass through the corpus callosum? I don't think there's any. It's just nerve fibers, right? Yeah, I think so. Man. You want to go for a walk? Yeah. A short walk? Yeah. Out in these mountains? They always say it's good to walk after you. <laughs> I might have a post-meal smoke. Yeah. Excuse me. Smoke. My back. I got a lot of ideas, and that. If I could, if I could claim to have been an aspiring author, I think that the whole destruction of my life. Oh, but I stopped taking Risperdone, and I, my appetite before the last the last couple times that I've gone nuts and left the reservation and been convinced that I'm going to record the revolution. I've stopped eating, I, but I've stopped like my the amount of food I consume dropped by. To like a third of what it was. During like one meal a day. Or I was eating very small amounts over the course of the day. But yeah, my appetite. I don't know. And it's that question of Oh, are you still not hungry? I'm sorry. No, I'm, no, I would like to have it. I like ha I like having the option of eating. There you go. And it allows me to Man, I just wolfed it down. <laughs> you that's were hungry. Like, yeah. That's I'm like, oh, I need to walk. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've been allotting myself one cigarette.